Hey guys, what's up? It's Brad from Quad Gaming here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to bass boost music on FL Studio. So now, basically what you're going to want to do is, first off, you're going to want to go and get a song you want. Now let's see here. Do, do, do. Now I have a bunch of songs. I'm just going to use, oh, we'll just use Noise Storm Ignite. So you're just going to window that and drag it onto the playlist for FL Studio. And wait for it to load in. Now this can be MP3, MP4, I think, and a WAV file, any kind of format. All it is is if it's a WAV file, you're just going to want to make sure there's no gap in between. So make sure that's working. Yeah. Alright. Now I don't know if, for some reason, Fraps wouldn't record FL Studio, so I'm using a free recording software I got, so I don't know if you're going to be able to hear the actual music or not, but I promise this works. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go in your mixer, and you can just put it all on the master. So you're going to want to, you can delete the fruity limiter if you want, I like to, but I don't think it makes a difference. So... We're going to want to get two things. First, you want to get Fruity Bass Boost and amount all the way up for sure. And then you play with the music. You play the music and just mess with the frequency until it sounds clean. So let's see. Like I, said, I don't know if you can hear this, but I can. So I'm just going to put it right there. That sounds good. Yep. And then I'm just putting that in. I can already hear the difference. And then we've got what you're going to want to do is go... Where is it? The Fruity Parametric EQ2. And then all you're going to want to do, if you understand this really in depth for bass boosting stuff, you can adjust them all you want. I just go into presets, hit it to uh, set it to kick, and that just ups the bass boost. And I mean, if you want, you can add like another EQ here and probably a balance or something. I don't know just to add more and more bass, but once you get to this, any more bass kind of drowns out the actual music. So yeah, that's all bass boosted there, you can definitely tell. So then what you're going to want to do is, once you have that all set up, all you're going to want to do is go into File, Export. I personally do it in MP3 files, I'm sure other people can figure out other ways. And then, for me, what you can do is you can save it, into the FL Studio normal project file but I made a file for finished and unfinished songs and I just save it into there it's a lot easier you can I don't know you it just kinda keeps you organized what you have what you don't have and then I mean if it gets too full you can just delete them all but just cancel that it's cuz I already have this and I mean that's basically it then you just have the mp3 file in here and you can see a couple of these I still have in the I don't know why I have those there they should be finished but see just play it and it's basically it alright so please like comment subscribe if you guys have any other questions for FL Studio or um other programs, I mean, this is what I have. If you have any questions about any of this, just comment down below what you'd like to see, and also comment down below on what kind of videos you'd like to see next. I can basically play any game. Alright, peace out, guys.